two, two uh, questions that I want to ask. Um, one is, uh, I mentioned in my opening statement, and I wanted you just to comment on, in, as regards to some, of the, some groups that are uh, offering criticism towards this discussion draft. In your view, does it in any way undermine uh, the Clean Air Act? No, no, it's not going to weaken the uh, regulation of air pollution that, you know, people are concerned about asthma and heart attacks and all these that long list of things, the lung cancer. The Clean Air Act has reduced air pollution and it done so in a in conjunction with a period of economic growth. That's significant because during that period of time, all these things have actually reduced. And I can't see that this would have any any um, effect on that. I did mention that things like the Diesel uh, Regulation Act, Clear Skies, um, th these are things that, that we have been trying to do and have done successfully. So we are addressing that and have been addressing that with such legislation as I just mentioned. Now, I know that you're writing a book. Yeah. And, <laughs> Guess uh, what the name uh, of it is. I it, uh, well, you can tell me in a second. Let me, uh, <laughs> I, I just want to know if you're going to talk in your book or you're planning to, to write in your book whether EPA has calculated the further reduction in temperature from the tailpipe rule at about one hundredth of a degree Fahrenheit by the year 2100. I think what you're uh, getting to here confirms what I said in my opening statement about the Tom Wigley report on the Kyoto Treaty, that it's, uh, it's hardly uh, detectable. Uh, I won't tell you about my book. I did finish it last week on the 5th, although now I see we're going to have to go forward with it a little bit further. I won't tell you what it's about, but the name of the book is The Hoax. Um, yes, there have been a lot of things that have, um, so Don Rumsfeld's not the only one writing. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you. I, I yield back, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. This time I recognize the gentleman from California, Mr. Waxman. And well, he'll be the first to receive an autographed copy. <laughs> no, I already I will be, uh, that to Barbara I will be Fox. greatly honored. Uh, I received a lot of books.